which satisfieth not. Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. I'm telling you that if it's the gospel and it's, and it's from God, then it's always going to be free. And if you don't learn anything else, if you don't learn anything else about some of the things that I'm trying to warn you about and blow the trumpet on as a watchman, if you don't learn anything else, just get this one concept in your mind. If it's free, then it's probably of God. Now, that doesn't apply in every case. If I was a heroin dealer, which I'm not, but if I was a heroin dealer, what I would go out and I'd find little 12-year-old kids at the school ground and I would give them a free dose of heroin. The first one's free. The second one's going to cost you because I know that once you take the first hit, you're going to be begging me and you're going to get in your mom's purse and steal 50 bucks for the next one. So now I've got you. Okay? If it's, if it's not of God, they're going to sell it to you. Okay? Buy it. Buy it. Pay money for it. And the gospel was meant to go to people who didn't have any money. The gospel was supposed to go to people who couldn't buy salvation, who couldn't pay the shekels, who couldn't do those things. So anyway, you got to buy it now. So they're going to sell it to you. How do I get started? Buy a Mon V pack. Discover what's getting in the way. Start your journey towards God's best version of you. Click here to find out what's included in the Mon V pack. So you already found out that it's going to cost you. Okay, now, um, there's two programs here. And I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the, uh, it's actually t two ways to do this. Number one, they, they want the individual hooked into it. And you have to pay money to do it. The second thing is they really want your church because that's, that's where the big money is, and they know it, okay? So they know that they're going to get some money from the individual people, but their biggest m amount of money is going to come from the church coffers, and they know this. So this, and this is from their website. They want the churches to get into the program, and it's subscription-based, okay? And here's what it costs. $199 a month. You know what that is? That is a liar's way of saying that it's $200. Okay? Well, it's only $199. $199 per month or $2,000 per year. Special pricing for churches under 500. Churches under 500 may not have the money that the churches of 1,000 have. And so we're not going to, now we're not going to give it to you free. We're going to cut you a deal, though. You pay us $2,000 thousand dollars a year do the math on it people if they can get a thousand churches somebody on uh, skype do the math for me real quick a thousand churches hooked in at two thousand dollars a pop per year what's that come up to come on let's hear it come on i'm waiting got people listening here i'm online and i'm live waiting for you come on ah anyway uh t 200,000 bucks, Jazz, 200,000 bucks, okay? The people that these churches are going to be funneling into this thing, and it's probably going to be a lot more than that. It's about the cash, people. And just remember, let's keep this real simple. Think of, uh, think of what spirit in the, in the Bible, think of what spirit in the Bible that wants cash for everything, Okay? Uh, God's true love is given to you for free, okay? Um, every day, I send my wife a text message, and I say, I love you. And I don't care if I get something back or not. I'm not telling her I love her because I want to hear it. I'm telling her I love her because I love her. And it's free. It's not going to cost her anything. My wife makes this joke when I get her flowers. Okay, what's the flowers for? What do you want? I don't want anything. I just want to tell you I love you. Let you know I appreciate you and care about you. See, that's free. Harlots don't do nothing for free. They're always going to charge you for it. They're always going to try to get money out of your pocket for what they're offering you. 
they don't really love you. That's to the churches. Now, here is what they sell to the individuals. It's only $23.98. You know what that is? That's a liar's way of telling you that it's $24. They're just not going to tell you that. It's like gas prices are $3.99. You know what that is? It's sales. It's marketing. It's really $4 Okay, is what it is. Um, so you get a book. You get a book called Frequency. Frequency. What is what is uh, what is frequency? What does that have to do with anything? Let me see if I can read my notes right. I'm back in uh, Marilyn Ferguson's book here, and um, let's see here if I if I find the page 79. I wrote this down in a hurry, in a rush, and I don't know if I have the right thing or not. Um, yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, Marilyn Ferguson's book, page 79, The Aquarian Conspiracy, here's what she says. There are techniques that can help us name our dreams and dragons. They are designed to reopen the bridge between right and left to through traffic to increase the left brain's awareness of its counterpart. Meditation, chanting, and similar techniques increase the coherence and harmony in the brain wave patterns okay now let me let me go back to this okay frequency um, frequency is a newage term let me um, let me show you this I mean if you know anything about the newage movement they all have this thing about um, crystals okay everything's a crystal thing even the uh, the song the age of Aquarius uh, talks about a, a crystal awakening or crystal mystic crystal understanding or something like that, and it's all about crystals. Why is it? Why is crystals? Well, number one, I think it has something to do with the description of of Lucifer in in the book of Ezekiel. Um, you know what? I just saw something caught my eye. Hang on here. Uh, Chris writes in. Oh, Chris, Jazz. Chris writes in and says it's two million bucks for a thousand churches. Appreciate that. Okay? For a thousand churches, for two thousand dollars a pop, two million bucks. Okay? Anyway, back to the crystals. That that's big money, by the way. Okay? Why did they do it? Let's get back to the crystals. New Agers worship Chris. You have a crystal ball. We're going to gaze into the crystal ball. And why is it that they like crystals so much? I think it has something to do with the description of, of Lucifer in the book of Ezekiel. Every precious stone was I covering, and he's describing crystals is what he's doing. Okay? Lucifer is just coated with crystals. But number two, something that if any, anybody has ever built an, a, uh, an, an AM radio from scratch, okay? Um, the Crystal Cathedral. Think about that. Okay, but a crystal radio is an AM radio that you, literally you use a crystal because crystals have resonance. They have vi they vibrate with different types of waves, frequencies. When you change the the dial on your old AM radio, you're changing the frequencies of the amplitude modulating waves that are coming in. You like you like what I'm doing here? Okay, this is the AM signal coming to you. Okay? And it vibrates the crystal at that frequency, and that crystal then produces a sound that you hear. That's, that's how they invented the AM radio, was because crystals produce sound based upon the resonance of the waves. I, I hope I'm not talking, but let, let me ask you a question. Okay? Have you seen anything in your King James Bible that said anything about having to have the right frequency in order to be saved? in order to have uh, prayers answered, in order to have God's grace poured out in your life? Do you see anything in the King James Bible that even alludes to the fact that you've got to speak to God on the right frequency? It's crazy. It's not biblical. But that's what they're selling it to you as. And frequencies, when, they, when, they, when, they, when I saw this, I'm going, that's, that's right out of the New Age movement. It's selling you frequencies. What are these frequencies? Pray tell. 
Um, who in here recognizes this symbol? I saw someone the other day that was actually working in um, Brady's McDonald's restaurant that has this tattooed on the back of her neck. Um, this is called the Ohm symbol. Okay? The Ohm symbol. And the Ohm symbol represents the frequency that channels you into the connectiveness with the gods. Okay? So when you do yoga, when you go to the Buddhist monasteries, when you do yoga, you do the little chant. And you go, Om. And if you do that right, your lips will vibrate. It kind of tickles. Om. 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 I've got to quit. Okay? Um, mantras are about frequencies. Repetitiveness, the repetitive music that is in most praise and worship services. Have you noticed that? You want more, you want to know what my beef is with most praise and worship music? That it is it is repetitive in nature. We're going to sing about five words thirty times in a row with the same musical tones given every time. We're going to repeat it over and over and over again. You know what the newagers do? They use that same style to go into a trance. They use mantras, repetitive nature. That's what contemplative prayer says you have to do. You have to repeat over and over and over the Jesus words. The Jesus. You can even use scripture. Probably not King James, but you can even use scripture and just repeat it over and over and over without thinking about it. Because if you think about it, you're going to ruin it. That's going to ruin it. You can't talk to the devils if you think. So they get you into this repetitive prayer business. I'm so glad that I have a Savior who is a watch, watchman for me. Because my Savior actually pointed out. Don't pray repetitiveness. Don't do vain. Don't use vain repetitions. That's what my Savior said. You know why he said that? Because he knows how they channel devils. They use repetitive tones or repetitive mantras or this and that and the other. And that's what Ohm represents. Ohm is a frequency. It's the right frequency that you can use to get in touch with the familiar spirits. That's what it is. It's about vibrations, frequencies. And I remember studying this thing, uh, and I was trying to, and I said, God, I, I need some help here. God, I, I, I'm seeing these frequencies. Oh, by the way, by the way, I don't want to forget this. Um, you know what? I need this. Hang on a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open up to uh, Psalm 93. I was, I was asking God, because I kept seeing in the New Age movement all this stuff about how frequencies... Can um, can change your DNA. Have you ever read that? And you go to you just type in DNA frequencies, and you'll see a thousand websites out there where somebody's trying to teach you that you can actually activate your DNA by by getting in these frequency things. Okay. Uh, some people have written into me about this guy, Leonard Horowitz. Write that down, Leonard Horowitz, H-O-R-O-W-I-T-Z. Stay 57 miles away from Leonard Horowitz. He even put himself on the Prophecy Club several years ago as some Christian speaker. He's not. I've got his books. He is all about, if you want to be saved, get your DNA.